I've been coaching agents for years now, and I've seen this one thing that either destroys a real estate agent's career or severely puts a stop to it for uh, a period of time until they can figure things out. And I wanna make sure it doesn't happen to you because it just happened to one of my good agents who had so much promise and potential. Actually, it just happened to two of my agents. And I wanna make sure that it doesn't happen to you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is, what to look for, how it impacts you, um, how you can make sure it never happens to you. Uh, because real estate is one of those businesses where you can just like, it's hard. This business is difficult. But if you can really understand how it works and get a few things right, you can make so much money doing this. Before I get into this one concept, which actually kills your business, is um, you need to understand this one thing, which is there is no such thing as failure. So no matter what you do, even if you're not doing many deals over the next 10 years, you haven't failed. There's only making mistakes and then learning from them and then continuing onwards. The only way you can actually fail is by giving up. And what giving up looks like is basically shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome. This has, man, if, so, if you don't know, real estate ha was my seventh business that I've ever tried. Okay, let me, let me, let's take, let's travel back in time real quick. I was about 20 years old. I'm 30 now. I, I was about 20 years old when I started my entrepreneurial journey. And I would start a business. And for three months, I'd try it out. But after seeing no results, I would be like, hmm, well, people are crushing it over in drop shipping. Let me try drop shipping. I tried drop shipping for like four months. Didn't really see the results I was looking for. Hmm, maybe I'll try social media marketing. Try social media marketing. I'd get a little further. I'd stay in it a little longer, maybe six months. But I'm like, mm, this isn't really what I'm looking for. This isn't bringing in the money that I'm looking for. And I kept hopping over to different things. And I never found success in anything I did until I decided to commit to one thing, which was real estate. When I got my real estate license, I was like, all right, this is gonna be the thing. This is embarrassing how much I'm just switching things. It's dumb how I'm doing that. Let me just stick in real estate no matter how bad it gets. And good thing I didn't switch around even if I didn't see great results in my first year because my first year I made like $36,000. If I quit then, if I quit during my first year, I would have never seen the success that I have now. And on hindsight, when I look back at my first few, first several businesses, if I just committed and just decided to go all in no matter what it took for years, attempt for years on whatever I was doing back then, I probably would have succeeded. You know, I just didn't give myself long enough. And when it just got a little bit difficult, I would just look at someone else and be like, well, they're doing well with um, crypto trading. I'm going to try that. And because I already went through that, I can see when my new agents who are three, six, 12 months into the business and they're trying cold calling and things just aren't working out. I see a lot of them tell me, Aaron, look, I, I, th I think I might try wholesaling. I think I might try trading stocks. I think I might go do this. I think I might go do that. I think I might try e-commerce. And when I hear that, I'm like, no, I already went through that for you. Please learn from my mistake <laughs> because the thing is like, no matter what you choose to do, no matter if it's drop shipping, e-commerce, FBA, SMMA, uh, copywriting, email, or no matter what you choose to do, it's going to be difficult. It, business is not a simple thing where you can just get in, start making $50,000 months in your first year. That's just not how this works. No matter what kind of business you start, you're gonna have a slow start. You, there's a ramp up period for you to like develop and learn the skills, develop and learn the trade, like get it, gain an understanding and knowledge of this industry, increase your skill set and your conversion rate on whatever product or service you're selling. There's a ramp up period of you climbing this like this ladder until you until you can break through this glass ceiling. And after you break through that glass ceiling, you start to unlock unlimited money. 
But for most agents who are in the business for like three, six months and they're like, oh, you know, Aaron, I still haven't closed my first deal. I just don't know if this is for me. It is for you. And I know it can be discouraging. You just need to stay in it and you just need, you actually just need a few things. Number one is guidance or mentorship. You need someone that's already carved a path or like figured it out. And you need to learn from that guy so you don't have to be the guy carving your own path. So I remember my very first year when I was at Keller Williams, the guy that brought me into Keller Williams, his name is Justin Crouch, great guy. He told me, Aaron, I think I'm gonna join a team. I'm like three months in at this point. I'm like, why would you join a team? And he told me this, he said, he, they're gonna give me leads, they're gonna teach me how to convert, convert these leads and I'm gonna give them a portion of my, like 50% of my commission. And I'm like, why would you do that? And he says to me, because 50% of something is 50%. 100% uh, of nothing is nothing. And I'd rather take 50%. So we kind of split off on these two different paths. And on Facebook, he would be posting about the deals he was doing, the money he was making, the progress he was building in his business, while I was really just trying to figure it out. I was door knocking, I was cold calling, I get deals here and there, it was very inconsistent. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought eventually that things would change for me just somehow, but it never did. Until in my fourth year, I found a coach who really laid out the roadmap, who showed me exactly what to say, exactly how to say it, exactly like how to convert and talk to your leads, like how to create an actual business. And if I never had that hand to hold, to guide me in what I was trying to do, I don't know how long it would have taken for me to figure this all by myself. So mentorship and guidance is the first thing. The second thing is a combination of lead generation and time. I promise you, if you're consistent about lead generating all day, generating just stacking leads, of people that wanna move in one, two, three years. And just finding people like this every single day to store into your CRM and follow up with them. They're not gonna be ready to do anything anytime soon, but eventually they will. And, and when, you're, when you're able to gather two, two leads one day that wanna sell within the next two years, the next day you gather four leads that wanna sell or buy within the next two years, the next day you gather three leads that want to sell or buy in the next two years. If you keep stacking these leads every day, maybe in three, four months, one of them will actually want to sell their home. And bang, that's 15 grand in your pocket right there. Um, in two months after that of consistent lead generating, someone's like, hey, I need to buy a, a million dollar home. Whoa, well, that's 30 grand right there. So like in a span of five months of just constant lead stacking, you're letting these leads cook. Like they're baking in the oven, getting ready to buy and sell. And just over time, these leads will pop. They will churn. They will be like, hey, I need to sell my house now. And if you can just stay focused and do this every day, just lead generate every day for a long period of time, like a long time horizon, like. If you just do this for like a year straight, what's that second year gonna look like in terms of production? And if you just keep lead generating in that first, second year, dang, what's that third year gonna look like? You are literally just compounding leads that are going to turn over over time. The third thing you need to think about is your conversion rate. And I talk about this all the time, but like this is really the difference between doing two deals in your first year or 10 deals in your first year. Like how good are you to, are at convincing someone to meet with you and then work with you? Because if I cold call 100 homeowners and you cold call the same 100 homeowners, you and I are gonna get a very different result because I'm trained to have a high conversion rate. I'm trained to like really squeeze out every opportunity that comes my way. If someone has somewhat of a, of a motivation to sell or buy a home in the next year, I can get them to meet. And then once we meet, I'm probably gonna work with them. And especially when you're in your first year, when things are, you know, finances are tight. You don't have deals coming in all the time. 
you have you don't have consistency in your finances in a situation like that you really want to make sure that the next opportunity that comes your way you can convert it you don't want that deal to slip away from you and in order for you to be in that better position you need to know exactly what to say and exactly how to say it and that's something that i cover in the conversion academy link is down below i know that real estate can be extremely discouraging of a business to be in because the failure rate is 90 percent. most agents give up but that's just it they gave up just don't give up keep on going keep on lead generating like you need to get out there and talk to people you need to create leads and clients for yourself and just stay in the business just know that if you have if you have the thought of well what would it be like if i did that what would it be like if i whatever the grass is not greener. You hop over to the other side of the fence, there's still the same kinds of obstacles that there are now. You still need to let lead generate in that business. You still need like starting capital for that business. You still need to learn things for that business. Like it's all the same stuff. You still have to do everything that you're doing that you're actually not doing here. Just stay in it where you are and just do the thing. Just do the thing long enough and you'll see results. How well and often you lead generate and how well you convert is going to speed up those results, but you will see results. It might not be as much as you want because you might not be lead generating enough or, or have a high enough conversion rate, but you'll still see results. Just let time do its thing and stay in the business.